Is it chaos in the garden or garden chaos? Well, there's one thing I know. It's Saturday, and Saturdays we go to you and we celebrate what's going on in your garden. And sometimes it may look like chaos. Cilantro going to seed. Kale, beets, lettuce, onions, all going to seed. Who planted a potato next to the strawberries? Or the kale, or the squash, that all came up voluntarily. One thing I do know, the blackberries are getting ripe. We've got a whole batch of turmeric coming up on their own. And what I've heard called chaos, I think more of diversity, the different kinds of plants in one area. Sort of like you and your gardens. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple that are very diverse. Walter's garden is an example of order out of chaos growing in a small deep mulch area. The beans and cucumbers will be sharing the same vertical space wrapping around the okra and the determinant tomatoes. I think he's got some root crops down underneath. His family has also been adding some fresh green beans to their delicious dishes. Walter, this is incredible. Thank you. Bruce's deep mulch Florida garden may also seem a bit chaotic, but is actually full of all kinds of goodies in all stages and manner of planting, with more coming in all the time. Bruce and Mona just step out and harvest fresh fruits and vegetables every day for dinner. Bruce, your garden continues to be an inspiration. Thank you for sharing. We look forward to this year's growth. Walter and Larry have very different gardens, but they're very much the same. They're based off of deep mulch. They've got a huge variety of plants within an area. They're both very successful. You can do this too. I'm telling you, the friends of this channel are just fantastic and I invite you to join us. We're just a loose knit community of people that like to get our hands dirty and grow things that taste good. Here's another part of what would be considered a chaos garden or a non-traditional garden. I've got beets that are going to seed. I've got cilantro that's going to seed. I've got kale that's going to seed. We're gonna let it reseed itself as it wants to, and we're gonna collect some of those seeds to plant in rows so we can manage it a little bit. How can it be chaos? We got some nice straight rows. Oh, yeah, and turmeric just coming up on its own. The rows are so that we have some walkways. When we did the carrot hack, you saw me just scatter the seeds, and that's how I plant. I really haven't scattered too many different seeds together yet. Deep mulch, chaos gardening. Now I do a roost out style and I just spread seeds on the ground, but I haven't mixed them up too much, even though I don't mark what I plant so I don't get disappointed. I haven't just randomly scattered a whole bunch of different kinds of seeds together yet. That's coming. I hope you join me for that. As far as companion planting goes, here's a pretty good example. We've got beets down right here in the middle of the corn. When this corn is done, these beets will be coming on strong. And remember with beets, you can take 20% of the leaves without hurting the bulb production. And then right here, we've got a bunch of choy that has gone to seed. I'm gonna let that dry and whatever falls on the ground, it'll grow in here around this corn. The rest of it we'll take in and process. We're also a huge advocate of cut and come again. That would be your lettuces that you can cut off the outside leaves and go ahead and let them continue to grow. And when do you know that your plant is done and you need to replace it? This is romaine lettuce. Nice bunch, except we had several of them and we've been eating off of them all spring. We've been taking leaves off of these couple, but they're starting to make flower heads. Now I want to gather that seed and I also want it to let it reseed itself. So we're continually planting all year round and we're also letting the plants do what they naturally do. It may seem chaotic at times, but we're trying to mimic nature and get as much food out of the area that we have. The three things that you absolutely need the sun, it takes care of itself. Water, we get a lot of rain most times. And then the soil. And we've mimicked that with deep mulch, just like in the forest. That promotes the life in the soil, which takes care of the soil, which takes care of your plants. We've got a volunteer bean and a bunch of Swiss chard right here next to our peanuts. It's chaos. We've got chives and peppers. And check out the grapes on this plant. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more of our contributors. Nora starts us off with a splash of late spring color to brighten our Saturday. 
Nora's landscape has always been a favorite of ours. Nora, your creativity and your plants are wonderful as always. Thank you. Larry's berries have started to ripen just as he's dug his first tomatoes. We're glad to see you, Larry, and we look forward to seeing what you have in store for us this year. Diane's boysenberry is coming along nicely, along with peppers, tomatoes, and a very large variety of interplanted beauties. Another excellent example of companion planting to make the most of the available space. Diane, thank you. Leave a comment down below and let everybody know just how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their garden. So we're trying to mimic nature. You know, flower where you root, things come up wherever the seeds land. We companion plant and we let things go to seed as they need to. We let them go ahead and reseed the garden. We've got new things coming up all the time, just like in nature. It's just overnight, we've got a squash that just came up on its own next to this amaranth that came up on its own. Yes, this doesn't look chaotic. This is just corn. But the way corn pollinates is chaotic. It needs the wind and it just blows that pollen around. So we've got three rows, it's kind of tight right here. And that, and as they grow, it's gonna allow it to pollinate really well. But it is a good idea to know the characteristics of some of the plants in your garden. Some of them actually do need a little bit of spacing. I do invite you to join us. Become a friend of this channel. There's no commitment necessary. Just send a picture in once in a while. Help motivate others how to grow a garden. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.